Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I am just in the kitchen right now. Kitchen slash technically in the living room because my feet are in the living room. Um, and it's about 9.30, so that's why I have a spotlight on my face right now because we don't get a ton of light in our living room until a little bit later. But it's another beautiful day in New York City. I woke up at like 7.30 because tomorrow I go back to work and I didn't want my body to be in shock waking up at 6.30. So I set my alarm for 7.30. I snoozed it a couple times, if I'm being honest. And then I got in the shower, just a little body shower, did my skincare. I just have like vitamin C serum and eye cream on right now. I just waited for that to dry before I put on my Tula um, sunscreen because Steph just went to a workout class. We were going to go to Blank Street again, but um, her Pilates is at 10 and it's like probably like a 20 minute walk for her. So she left now and she's gonna stop there on her way. And I just had the impulse to buy flowers because I was on Pinterest last night and I just opened up my computer this morning to start doing things just now. And there was a really pretty arrangement. So I've been wanting to buy flowers for my apartment for a really long time, especially since these. So this is like dried baby's breath. And I think Carson picked this up or someone sent it to her like when we first moved into the apartment, like one of the first couple months. And it looks beautiful still. Like baby's breath is one of my favorite things. And they had these really pretty like lavender colored flowers. And I think they were only like seven or eight bucks. So I might just go and pick those up and get a coffee for myself, even though I said I was gonna make one here. So part of me wants to try something different than Starbucks because I know my Starbucks order is gonna be like six or seven dollars and I just don't wanna spend that much, especially when like smaller coffee shops charge less. Um, so I'm thinking of doing Burke Street, that's like a little bakery in Chelsea and I'm gonna be walking over there to get the flowers anyway. Um, what else is around here? I feel like it's Starbucks, Blank Street, Burke Street, I don't know. I feel like there are a bunch of places that I always pass that I want to try, but I've already had a coffee that day, so I don't go in. Um, so maybe I'll just look that up right before I leave. But I wanted to show you guys some of the things I've been pinning because basically I have been a little bit like blah about my style. Like not necessarily blah. I always end up liking the outfits that I choose, but the whole like process of me settling on an outfit has been a little bit all over the place. And I'm kind of just like picking through my wardrobe and seeing what I want to wear. And so that's why I was pinning all last night. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, um, but there's just like a bunch of summer info and stuff. You guys can follow me on here. I think my page is just Jenna Evangelia and I'm pinning like as much as I can these days because um, fall fashion is coming up quicker than we will ever imagine, which I'm so excited for. And I also actually like summer fashion now, so I'm like getting more into it in the summertime too. And I already have ideas for outfits that I'm gonna shoot today with Steph. So I don't know where we're going yet. Part of me kind of wants to go into Soho, but another part of me just wants to not like get on the subway and go all the way down there. So we'll see what we end up doing, but I'm gonna get dressed. I think I wanna wear like an actual outfit. I definitely cannot wear these shorts. Oh, I hurt my back. Um, because I dyed my hair in them one time and there's dye stained literally on the crack of the shorts and it looks like you know what. So I only wear these around the house. They're really, really soft. They're from Abercrombie. And then this top is from H&M. Um, it's really old, but I actually saw that Abercrombie has one that's almost exact. So I'll link that one for you guys. So I'll change to go out and about and then I'm gonna show you guys the outfits that I'm gonna style later because I feel like I always tell you that I'm gonna show you guys my like whole outfit process and like talk you guys through like how I put stuff together when I'm going to shoot and then I never do because I never have time. So now that Steph is at her workout class, I have like an hour and a half. So I will get myself ready, put on my sunscreen because we cannot go out there with bare skin. The sun's like very bright already and there are no clouds in the sky. So it's a beautiful day. Can't wait to take you guys with me. If you guys are not subscribed already, then make sure you do that. I would love to have you guys as a part of my little YouTube fam and let's get going. Okay, quickly just showing you my outfit before I head out. 
It's been like a half an hour. I don't know why it's taking me forever to get myself ready, but we're just having another slow morning. I chugged a glass of water, did some more skincare. My sunscreen is on. I just put the Tula one on. And I also wanted to update you guys on my curls. <laughs> if I could put the camera on my face. Um, from my T3 curls. And you could see that I have like full like spiral curls left. Normally my hair will drop down to a wave, but I literally still have the actual curls, which is really nice. And yeah, so rest of my outfit, I have on my sunglasses from H&M. This chain is something beaded. I'll link her Instagram down below. I have a one shoulder sports bra on from Set Active. Aritzia biker shorts. This shirt, I have like a weird obsessment, obsessment, obsession slash attachment to, and it's my charcoal linen shirt, super oversized, and I wanted it to be this big so that I can wear it with outfits like this that are like a little bit skimpier underneath. And then I can just have this to cover me up. And then the dilemma that I spoke to you guys about a couple vlogs ago with my dunks. So I am wearing them with white socks. I'm probably gonna do some sort of like outfit video once I go and get my flowers and my coffee and stuff. And I'll see if I end up liking them like this. I was going to go to Pret because I heard that the coffee there is amazing and my friend Avery goes there all the time and I was talking to her on Instagram about it and I was like, I need to try it and I figured now would be a good time, but they're closed. <laughs> so I forgot to mention it's 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy America Day. <laughs> um, and so a lot of the places are closed, but I think the one that I am going to go to that the people are Australian, so I don't think they're celebrating. <laughs> um, and I'm going to grab... My coffee, possibly a croissant from there because they're so buttery and so good and I'm really, really hungry and I don't want to just have a coffee. I feel like the last couple days because I've been having a coffee when I first wake up that my eating schedule is a little bit off. Like I ate dinner last night at like, oh my gosh, it was like 8.30, 8.45 and I was like eating pasta and that's not normal for me. Um, I also watched Ratatouille, which was so great. I feel like sometimes I just need to have a night where I'm like reverting back to my childhood and watching like a really nice like feel good movie. And that was what I did last night. So it was really nice, relaxing. And then I got up early this morning. So let's go and do our little errands. I don't know if you would even consider them errands because they are not necessary in the slightest. Guys, I just did the most perfect straw insertion into my cup and I didn't get it on film. But we have all the goods. I have a ham and cheese croissant here, an iced latte with vanilla, and the flower place only took cash. So I didn't get any flowers, but now I'm just walking back to my apartment. I'll enjoy my breakfast, but I'm gonna take a little outfit video before I get back because why not? Okay, so I'm back in my apartment with my croissant and my little latte. I'm glad I got the smaller size because now that I'm eating this, I'm gonna be like a little bit full from all of this. Um, just taking my shoes off quickly because I don't like having them on when I just was walking around the city. I went down to the flower shop and I was looking around and stuff and then picked out flowers and then asked the guy if they take credit cards and he said no. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'll have to come back. but. Um, I didn't go back because I didn't have any cash with me and I wasn't going to stop at the bank because I was so hungry. So I just went up to Burke Street and then took a walk back here and did a little outfit picture on my way, which was nice. Um, it's very quiet out there right now. I feel like even if people are in the city, they're just having like a very slow and quiet morning. And so, yeah, it was just really nice. I might actually go out and walk a little bit more just because there's like no one out there and it's just... The perfect day for a walk. I dressed very appropriately. My socks didn't bother me as much as I thought they were going to, so now I know I can wear my, um, what are these called? What are these called? Um, crew socks <laughs> with my dunks. But I need to also be chugging water right now because um, I am like feeling kind of dehydrated for some reason because I drank so much water yesterday and I feel like I'm doing a lot better with it, but it's just a never ending cycle of just drinking water. And then obviously like I forget throughout the day and stuff, but it's actually really good. So I don't know why all of a sudden I'm like super thirsty when I woke up, but 
I don't know, I eat a lot of salt and stuff, so that could be why. But I'm just gonna sit here for the next little bit and watch any vlogs that I need to catch up on and then do a couple of emails and stuff because, I mean, even some of the brands that are not like American, they're obviously working today, so I have some emails that I have to get through. And I already did my Instagram post for the day, nice and bright and early, so now I can just relax a little bit and get my work done very slowly and surely while I eat this. Also, I know it looks like I took a bite out of it, but I didn't because I came into my building and I had this and my coffee in my hand and then obviously I was turning the key. And as I was passing through the doorway, the top of my sandwich like skimmed the frame of the door and I was like, no, I'm not eating that. So I ripped off that piece and it's in the garbage. <laughs> but I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy myself and when I start to style outfits and stuff for shooting in a little bit, I will pick up the camera and show you guys what I'm thinking. All right, you guys, quick little outfit prep slash planning. I kind of just came up with the second outfit on the spot, but I, well, let me show you guys what I'm wearing right now. So I have on the charcoal tank that you guys have seen a million times in my vlogs because I don't stop wearing it. And then I have my linen shirt on that has the collar a little bit too tucked in. And then my charcoal shirt over the top that I was wearing this morning with some black trouser shorts. These are from Zara. I'm just realizing that they don't have any pockets, which I feel like is kind of weird. And then gray sneakers, these are also from Zara. Then outfit number two, I'm just gonna change this top part and put on my little THD shop vest. So cute, so comfy, and it has these cute little pearl buttons in the front of it. And then I'll change my sneakers out for the Veja is that I shouldn't be wearing in public anymore. And then this bag, I kind of wanted to wear it only with the second outfit, which I think I will do. And then I think I'll bring my double flap for this outfit just to make it look a little bit more Parisian, elevated, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna chuck this stuff into my little tote bag and then we're gonna hop in the subway and go down to Soho. It's funny cause Steph came home from the gym and she was like, so what are your thoughts on going She's like, I'm honestly down to go to Soho. And I was like, I was just telling the vlog this morning that we could possibly do that. So we're gonna go down there, get some outfits done. And then I don't really know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Um, it is 4th of July though. So I kind of want a hot dog and I want to see some fireworks. So that could be in the cards <laughs> for the plan. Okay, we're dressed and headed down to Soho. We're walking to the subway now. Um, Steph is wearing a little micro mini skirt. <laughs> In the city. In the city. Love this for me. But she's just gonna stand up on the subway, we decided, because I'm sure, like, it's fine when you're walking, like, you can't tell, but if you were to sit down, like, I'm sure everything would be out. Oh my God, the pigeons. If anybody saw ooh, my TikTok about the pigeons, they literally bathe in the city water, like, after it rains on the streets. So, like, stay clear of those. Steer clear? Yeah, steer clear. Yeah. Um, this is my latte from this morning i just keep throwing ice cubes in there i'm not one of those girls that's like oh it's gonna water it down no we're just gonna have it but we're just like polar opposites so we're gonna do a little tiktok of like i don't know it's a mom daughter one steph knows what it is <laughs> well, you guys can obviously clip. insert clip here <laughs> i don't know how to do that though for tiktok videos now i'll figure it out yeah. linked in the description <laughs> well, maybe guys i got my flowers <laughs> They took card, they were only $8. They're in my tote bag. I'm holding them up though, because the stems are so long. So they're, they're like flopping to the side, which I don't love. Where? Like right in here. Yeah, why not? Okay, we went to change in the bathroom at Dr. Schmood. Didn't buy anything because they were only serving drinks. And then I forgot my flowers in the bathroom. So. Steph is holding all of our stuff and I just ran back there by myself to go and get them because I'm a stinking idiot sometimes. And I knew I was gonna forget them. I just kind of disregarded my feelings and just put them where I was putting them anyway. But we've secured them again and I need to... <laughs> Steph is recording me. <laughs> I got her! <laughs> okay, I have no idea what's going on with my hair. I think it's just because I have so much dry shampoo in that it's just very textured right now and it looks really tangled. So I'm just gonna tie up this part while I chat to you guys right now. So we're back from shooting. Me and Seth both did two outfits in Soho. 
so happy I got that done. Now I'll be good with um, like photos and videos for the next couple weeks, which will be really nice because I'm gonna be home next weekend. I should be able to work from home on Friday depending on this pretty huge project that I'm working on. So if I um, finish it before Friday, then I will be able to work from home, but that will all be determined later in the week. So it's just good that I got all that done. Just Oh, I could take a week off of shooting next weekend if I have to. I just tried to open this box and didn't open the top part, only the sides. So we had packages come in, basically like we don't have a doorman or anything. So our packages just get left in the lobby. And a couple got delivered today, which I thought was weird because it's 4th of July and I felt like people don't really deliver them. But I got some things in from Dr. Dennis Gross. So these are the, I always go to read the packaging and one side is French and the other side is English. So obviously I have to switch it around, but these are the daily peels. So I got them for normal skin. They have like a range of different ones that you can do. And these are just, how many are in here? 30 treatments. So it's basically just like a chemical exfoliant. And I'm just trying to open them and show you guys, but I don't want to rip the packaging because it'll annoy me. <laughs> A little bit of OCD there okay the whole top comes off and then it just becomes like a little thing so you've got this little packet and you have step one and two which is really nice it's gonna fit perfectly inside of my skincare cabinet um, I'll link these for you guys if you want to try them they're really good with like I don't know I was using um, summer Friday's exfoliator but when I went to get my facial she told me that like I was dry around here because of using that product and it was mainly because I was using it every single day but I've also tried these and I really like them so um, I, those are like my two different like go-to's for a chemical exfoliant and then the only like physical exfoliant I've been using on my face is the Lush um, coffee mask or something and it's, it has like little coffee beans in it and I just really like that one for the morning because it smells like coffee obviously but I'm gonna take you guys down here and show you guys my little flowers because <laughs> Okay, so I ended up getting them and it was a little bit like crazy when I was down there trying to update you guys, but I bought them from a place in Soho. They were like $7.80, which were amazing. And then I went to go change in the bathroom into our second outfit and I left them in the bathroom. And I was thinking to myself like, okay, I'll put them here. And I'm like, normally I would forget them, but I'm not gonna forget that. And then we're like doing pictures and stuff and I just went like, <gasps> And Sif was like, what, what is it? Like, I think she thought that I left my bag in there or something. And I was like, my flowers. And she was like, you have to go back and get them. And I was like, no, I don't want to. Like, I can't do that. I can't go back. She's like, you just paid $8 for the flowers, go and get them. And I was like, you are right. And I can't believe I was gonna waste $8. So they're sitting here on my dresser. I put them in some water. And the dresser is looking a little bit crazy right now. I need to like refine all of this. Like my Tiger Balm does not go here. I think I want to move one of the candles because that's too much and then over here I don't this isn't supposed to all be there I have my coach back here because it doesn't fit in with the rest of my bag so I just leave it up here and I think it looks kind of cute but I have to move this book because that's the main reason why I have so much on here is because this is like a small little surface area but I think they look really cute I have to kind of like orient them and like play with them a little bit so that they make the shape that I want but I didn't think the bouquet was going to be this big and it's literally huge so that was a plus and they're really really cheap and then afterwards these will dry up and then you can still keep them afterwards so we'll put them in the living room once they have gotten dry and we have that set in there that i showed you guys before so we'll just replace them with fresh ones and i think it looks so cute and i'm so glad that i got them and that this place took credit cards because that's the amazing reason why i didn't get them at the place near my apartment this morning so for now i am just going to get changed quickly probably brush my hair and like figure it out. And then also I need to change my shoes because um, I love my Vejas, but they're not like, I mean, they're really comfortable, but I want to put on like real, I'm probably just going to put on my Veja Decon sneakers because those are a little bit spongier, which will be a lot better for a nice long walk. And it's really hot out. So I just want to be comfortable. And that's the doorbell. We're there for a while. That's when everyone went for, uh, some people went for our Okay, so not sure where I left off with you guys, but we ended up walking into Safili, which was a cute little wine bar. It's Greek. There was one Greek guy working there, but I think the guy that owned it was British. So <laughs> I was a little bit confused about that, but you never know in New York. Um, but we are just having a chill night. 
We had a Chick-fil-A date a little bit later than that. I don't know what is wrong with me. I was just like craving Chick-fil-A for the past two weeks. I just wanted their nuggets so badly. I wanted their sauce, like the special Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> and so we went and did that. And now we are just gonna watch Harry Met when is it When Harry Met Sally? It's like a super classic movie, but I have never seen it. So it's supposed to be really good. It was up for a bunch of awards. I mean, I think it was from like the 90s or like late 80s. So it's a really old movie, but my mom asked me if I saw it like a few weeks ago and I was like, no, like, should I have? And she was like, I can't believe you haven't seen that. Have you seen, have you got mail? And I was like, no, I haven't seen any of these. So it's only like an hour and a half. It's still pretty early. So um, I feel like it's a good, bet because I just want to get everything like squared away. We're going back to work tomorrow like a normal person after this lovely day off and a nice little long weekend. So I'm just like really looking to get all of my ducks in a row as I like to say over and over again on my channel. Um, I feel like I'm always trying to get my ducks in a row over here but you know that's what life's about. Um, okay getting a little too deep here. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying them and I hope to see you all in my next video. Make sure you guys are subscribed and I will see you guys soon.